Okay. This is actually lesson five. <laughs> I screwed up on the audio twice. So I'm trying something new. And let's see if we can make it work. Third time's a charm. Yeah. You put that on. Okay. So you put the seatbelt on. Okay, now, try and get that rudder control better. <laughs> All right, the name of the game is checklist, checklist, checklist. Okay, theoretically, or better she check that. <laughs> All right, before start passenger briefing, where are we going today? Rainbow Valley. So, then we're starting like a nice no little smoking, air conditioning vents. Open, close them. Yeah, uh, close them. Open them. Check out clockwise to close them. Tom uh, clockwise. We are one to four inch the exits, one turn left to one turn right. To open the door, you pull back on the latch and push on the door to close the door. You close the door and push down on the latch, and that also locks it. Seat belts. Once you make fasten out all durations of the flight. Seat bags in the utmost right position, and we are equipped with a nice little fire extinguisher that we can see and touch if we need to. So we have one. You have eyes. I have eyes. Let's just make sure that if I don't see traffic, if you spot it before I do, verbally say it to me. If I spot it out, I'll verbally say it to you as well, and then we can determine if it's a no factor or not. Positive exchange of controls. If I say my controls, you state your controls, and then I have controls of the aircraft. If once I give them back to you, I'll be like your controls. And you also state my controls and that really just tells me that I have that you have the controls. Okay. Okay. All right. Seatbelt check. Fuel selector both. Fuel shut off in. Flight controls free and correct. And left up. Down. All the way this way. So and then this way. Okay, do all the way. Okay, let's see if we can see the little train back there. Okay. Elevator. Okay. So now go this way. Watches. Okay, yeah. One right here checking. Okay. Those pointing up, that aileron's going up. The elevator in the back is going up because okay. it does pointing at it. Going to this go. side, that one transitions, goes up. Elevator back is still point, uh, pointing up. As you push down, the okay. aileron goes down. And now we're with okay. okay, simple enough. And then rudders, yeah, just a nice little spread. Okay. Rudders, push on, on the left one, goes to the left, right goes to the right, and then... Okay, uh, let's see, battery, flight controls, battery, and alternator switch on. Mm -hmm. Lights is required, so we got a beacon, landing, taxi. Oh, geez, we're going all out. No, we're just going to put the beacon on for now. Okay, once you start beacon. Taxing, Okay, beacon uh, and strobe. Nope, that's it. Beacon. Oh, just beacon. Okay. Yep. Circuit breakers check. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Uh, brakes tested and set. Right. Nothing uh, used on my side. Earlier. Okay. Anything is not on your side. Nope. All right. Avionics master switch off. Yes. Mixture full rich. Mm -hmm. uh, Mixture full rich, throttle full forward, mm -hmm. fuel pump on and off. All right, well, let's pump. see here. Since this engine just got done, uh, okay, we're setting the hot here, so hot. What we're going to do instead of doing that, we're going to go to, uh, do a, uh, a straight, hot start. Straight to the and hot then we'll start. come back to here again. So we have a okay. hot start. So auxiliary fuel pump we don't need. Okay. Throttle is going to be full forward, mm -hmm. and then that uh, make sure it's going to be all the way either to cut off. As soon as the engine starts to kick on, go ahead and push that mixture forward and pull the throttle out so we reach 1,000 RPMs. Okay. Brakes are Key is here. Brake set, nice and firm. Brake set, nice and firm. Okay. Clear prop. Thank you. 
So let's go ahead and start modeling all these frequencies. So like I mentioned before, I'll let you get your thing before I explain. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, that's fine. Take your time. Let's put that away. Alright. Uh, so 
like we said before, we can check to make sure that we're monitoring the same ground frequency. So 121.7 is going to be our ground. 120, uh, 120 .1 is going to be tower. Our ADS is going to be 118.35. Our rainbow valley practice frequency is 925. That's five. So one two eight nine two five is going to be Rainbow Valley practice area. Put them on in that. Monitoring this. So for this one, com one, com two. This is going to be our com one, com two. Switch over. Ten to one three. Advisor, as of the flood information for Arizona, there are one part of its frequencies. Please tower and approach close. Advisor, Mr. Contact, you have information, Mike. Airport information, Mike. Time two two four seven zero observation. Wind one eight zero at eight. Weather's better than five thousand five. Temperature one six two point minus one. Altimeter three zero zero five. And what two one is in use. Inspectors will approach. Notings one hundred foot crane point eight two nautical miles south southeast to the approach under from right two one. One hundred seventy seven foot crane point three nine nautical miles south southwest to the approach under from right three. Advisories. Hazardous weather information for Arizona. There are one parts of its frequencies. Just tell it approach closed. Advise on Mr. Contact. Do you have information, Mike? Alrighty. You got it? You got it all? Okay. Yeah. So 2 1, we're going that way. That's where we're headed. Yep. And then go ahead and put your heading back to 180 so we know which way that wind is coming up. 180. Uh, C15 South. Zero. Yeah, I see how these are interconnected, so you can see it coming up there and right there. Okay. Well, so. All right. That's it. Okay. Avionics uh, flaps up. Altimeter transponder. Atis brakes are still on. Seat back. Tray tables. Seat belts check. Flight instruments set. So we have our airspeed indicator zero. It's indicating zero. We have an attitude indicator with level with no flags. In this case, it'd be a nice little solid X that we see on there. Then we have our, uh, um, oh gosh, space on, um, altimeter. Altimeter is going to be within 75 feet of our known altitude. Our vertical speed indicator is with, uh, is our indicating at zero, so that's going to be fine. We have our, uh, heading indicator, which is 120, 120, slightly off center, just like that. Perfect. Okay. And that's one coordinator, but we don't need that for, uh, okay. for that buddy. Okay. Yep. So that's going to be our, so what's going to indicate like a nice rate of turn is going to be our, uh, this is going to be a little blue magenta little triangle is going to come out and that little line, you want to match it up right with it to get that nice eye coordinate. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that last time. Oh, yeah. And then this one has nice angles. Control aircraft information, November's current on the Aegis of Goodyear, wind level at 3, altimeter is 3004. 3004, and then we match this up, that's pretty much on point with that one. Alright, and in November is the current one, so. Okay. So we have that all set, we're good with that. So now we're talking to Good Drew Brown, Good Drew Brown, Skyhawk, B. Sound, Charlie Druid, uh, uh, Lux Parking, Chris, Southbound Departure with information, November. Did you say Lux? Good Year Ground, Skyhawk 37, Charlie Juliet at Lux. Southbound departure with November. Do we have it on right frequency? Yes, we're on frequency for now. This is A Day One Charlie and uh, Christian Cessna 24482. What were your intentions again? Are you going to be full start or touching down? And so it looks like they're using both tower and ground. Yes, I found the objection on flight for three seven Charlie Julia. So three seven Charlie Julia, Roger. Uh, runway two one. Taxi via ramp two alpha alpha one. Runway two one. Taxi ramp two alpha alpha one. Three seven Charlie Julia. So ramp two alpha alpha one. Diagram two, as you can see on the diagram right here, I'm done with that. It's going to be set right behind us on this side over here. So we're going to taxi through here and then continue on to ramp alpha to ramp four, uh, alpha one. Yeah, so make a U turn here. Uh, kind of. So my controls for a second. Okay. okay. Let's test the brakes out. My control. All right, your controls. Got it. And then we're going to test out your brakes as well. Release and 
Take. Right. Well, check. I'm turn to the left. Check. Yeah. Well, hold that power back just a little back, back, back to a thousand. Back to a thousand. Yeah, so I don't have to be touching those brakes so much. Alrighty. And then we're going to pretty much kind of do a U-turn, but we're just going to do this nice little turn around. And then we have the little taxi line right up here. Fire the jets. Yeah, that will intersect that one. We have clear left, clear, clear left, clear right, clear right, clear straight, going too fast again. That's fine, it's like pull right the throttle on set, and then we just kind of coast, and then kind of get back up to speed. Go ahead and hit your taxi light as well, so your taxi. Uh, taxi light, taxi light on. Okay, that's all the rides you need, just speaking of taxi after taxi. Uh, now let's keep your head on the swivel, looking back and forth. Now we're coming up to ramp 2 right here. We have that location sign, the direction sign. Okay. In the case that this is going to be ramp 2. So we get nice and gentle as you get into ramp 2. Now since we're coming up to like another intersection, we always want to kind of keep up with Yep, making sure that no one's coming down now for that. Could be a potential hazard or anything like that. So, clear left, clear left, clear right, clear straight. Clear right, yep, perfect. And then we'll go to Alpha, which is right here. Alpha 1, Alpha. Yep, so right now we transition to Alpha. And then we go to Alpha 1. And then stop. Yeah, yeah exactly, right? So, like I said, you have your enhanced taxi line markings right here. So you follow those up. Kind of letting you know that you're going to edit this stop as well. Oh, okay. Yep, so you just follow those in. And then get your two rolls up down here. So you don't have to be exactly straight on with the taxiway. If you kind of have yourself a little more angled, it allows you to kind of see kind of down that taxiway as well. Or the final approach course. Oh, okay. So the wing's on the way? Yeah. So, right. so you can see like, there's going all down like this. You make sure there's no on the final approach. There it is. Yes, there is. So now, let's go ahead and uh, do our uh, before take off. Before take off briefing. All right. Okay. Would you like me to do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if anything were to happen, I'll take control at that point. So anything will happen uh, during rotate, uh, during a uh, rollout, I will prime max or uh, pull throttle, throttle and a prime max from breakage. If something were to happen after rotation below a thousand feet, I will um, lose sufficient runway. I will uh, pull the throttle out and then run on the on the runway and prime max on breakage. If something were to happen after rotation below a thousand feet without sufficient runway, then I will. Uh, then I'll pitch for VG of 68, uh, 68 and land on most appropriate landing service within 30 degrees of my center line. This is going to happen after 1,000 feet. Then I will pitch for VG again as well and then come back and land on the runway. Okay, that's it. All right, uh, hopefully the sound works so I can copy that. Trim set. Okay. Trim. Trim. It's going to be another normal takeoff. Okay, today. flaps. So, nope. Autopilot off. Fuel quantity check. Uh, right there. Yep. So the same. Cabin doors and windows closed okay. and locked. Yep. Landing and strobe lights on. Landing, strobe. Navigation lights is required. Uh, we probably want to come back in. We'll probably throw those on. I brought a bit of fight. So we should okay. be okay. Uh, we don't need them. Let's throw them on now. Yeah, no, 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 later. Later. yeah later. Because we still have during the daytime. So. Okay. Climb, flaps up. Okay. So now we're ready to talk to tower. Oops, there's a plane coming in. Oh, yeah, of course. As we look at the traffic. So as soon as you pull up to a whole shoreline, let's just go ahead and start monitoring tower so they know that. Like, if they need anything, they can get a hold of us. Okay. So, we're ready to go. I've got the 412 with the proper degree, uh, tower Sagan across. Alright, so you understand, Chief Gujar Tower, Skyhawk, Peace Out, Charlie Juliet, is holding short, running to one, uh, one, uh, one, ready for departure. Transition along at 10, approved, uh, as present. And wait for a second. Uh, to stop, Roger. Alright, go ahead. Charlie, running to one, clear touch go. Running to one, clear to touch go, AA1, off Charlie. Go. Gujar Tower, Skyhawk, 37, Charlie Juliet, uh, at holding short at runway 21, A1. Um, ready for takeoff. All right. 498, contact coming up. Say, say that to knots so like Alpha, Beta, and so on and so forth. 437, Charlie, okay. Julia, good ear. Tower, southbound, departure approved, runway 21, clear for takeoff. Southbound, departure approved, clear for takeoff, runway 21, B7, Charlie, Julia. 
So what about you, the other one down shape? Okay. Okay. Your coordination seems this is low. You got it? My controls? 2200, bringing that down. Press your hand. Get you all nice and coordinated. What you do is kind of slowly bank to one side right here, but apply that left footer as well. Keep that out, uh, altitude, not try to lose any altitude. And as soon as you get kind of comfortable, I want you to kind of go back again and apply that right rudder as you do that little turn. And we're going to do like 30, uh, 30 degree bank turns. Okay. And we'll go for just a little bit. I'll tell you left, then right, left, then right. So we're going to keep on doing this left and right pattern. Okay. And still try to get, keep okay. that ball okay. centered. Okay. And kind of get that feel of where you're supposed to be when you're doing so. Okay. Okay. So we're going to keep on doing that. And get that snow down to here. Bring the power back just a little smidge. Alright. And probably just get you guys. I want to get you as coordinated as possible here. Alright. Over more. Alright. Alright. Your controls? Our controls. Alright. 30 degree bank to the left, please. Okay. And as you do the left, let's go ahead and get that left rudder too. And let's go ahead and go up too so we don't sink. And let's go back to the right. Go back to the right. Right rudder. And sinking. Okay, back up. Pull back. Yeah, nose is high, so we're getting a little climb here. So let's bring that nose down. Yeah, 4,000. And back to the left. Back to the left. Left rudder. Yeah, exactly. So as soon as you think about turning left, that left foot needs to be thinking about, I probably need to push some pressure on this thing. Right. <laughs> right. Right now. Go right. Okay, right. Right, right. I'm just going to just throw it at you whenever just so you can kind of get used to that. Okay. All right. About 30 degrees. No more than this. So I'm just going to add all the pressures. Right. Too much. Right, right. Too much right, right. And as soon as you get coordinated. Yeah. As soon as you get coordinated here. I am going to add a little bit of power to. Okay, a little power. Alright, to the left. To the left. Little left rudder. Little more, left, more left rudder. And just get that feel of how it's supposed to be, right? Okay, good. Alright, left, right. Right side, right side. Right side. Let's see the right. To the right, to the right. Oh, to the right. Oh, turn right. Yep. <laughs> that you mean slipping. Ah, uh, no. More right rudder. Alright, yeah. to the left. Okay. Back to the left. Oh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm, I told you. No problem. Okay. <laughs> Alright, get that left rudder going. Okay, left rudder. Right uh, okay. And we. Okay. Alright, let's go to the right. Okay, to the right. Right rudder. Uh, too much rudder, let's see. No. Alright, uh, get the right. Left rudder. Okay, yeah, it's down. Let's give me a second. I'm trying to. Alright, it's fine. Get a quick view. Got a bank of rudder. Okay. Uh, okay. Go to the right. Okay. Yep. So go to the right. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, I tricked you on this, right? Alright, so we're going to keep on turning to the right here. Okay. At this nice little 30 degree bank, right? So, alright. Uh, 30 degree bank, 30 degree bank, and just holding it. Keeping now, the right? altitude, okay. keeping the altitude, enjoying the view, the round of us. Now we're going to pretty much go level the wings out. Okay. We're going to go straight just a little bit. Alright. So okay. as you bring that aileron to it, like even when you're leveling out, yeah. you need to still apply just a little bit of that left rudder. Okay. We are looking a little hazy today, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. That hazy is just in the last few minutes. Oh, yeah. Alright, so guess what? Alright, we've got plenty of time to have some more fun. So we're going to do these nice 30 degree, uh, like kind of like small little baby things. So the baby, uh, baby turns here, okay? Okay. So... I think you might be right, so we're we'll going to go to the left. And this is 30 degree, 30 degree bank to the left, and then just hold that coordination. But I want you to see that coordination throughout the whole time. So, okay. left, start adding a little bit of that left rudder. Left rudder, going, and then keep that nose up. Okay. And up to the and hold that right there. So, okay. 30 degrees is right there. It feels like it's 45 on the Dash. That's okay. That's about it. That's 30 all the way down. Okay. All right. A little bit less left rudder. Yeah. That's what I like to feel. Oh, okay. Now I can just sit back in your lap. Now I got it. Around, around again. Where we stop for nobody. No, look at that. Perfect. 4,000. Yep. 4,000. Holding it out. Let's see nicely. So a little bit of left, 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 a little b
Because this is going to help you develop like those skills or like that. Yeah, so I can see what the angle is. It's not just the angle, but how you feel it too. So, alright. Now let's go to the right. To the right. And keep on doing the nice little 360 on the right side here. Alright. So, now just bring my nose down. I don't want to be in a climb. Alright. Hold up power back just a little bit too. We have a little bit too much power. About 1 to 200 RPMs would be great. Okay. Alright, perfect, yeah. right there. So keep that power setting, and keep that bank right there. So these are these nice little 30 degree banks, right? So we love the right side, I can tell already. <laughs> so, going to the left, not so much, right? Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to use these eyes as kind of our clearing turns, so we're going to be looking down, or up and around, making sure that we can kind of see all of the traffic all the way around us, and making sure there's no one else around us as well, right? Okay. Dripping, dripping. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, up. Yep. so I'm going to switch up so you can now go into, once you get back to approximately the right point, we're going to say, okay, now let's go through a procedure, we're actually doing a performance maneuver, going by 45 degree bank, right? So going to wing level, going level, pointing down, okay, and now we're level. Okay, we're going to have to see that to you there, so we're just going to go back. Uh, All right, and we should have some traffic coming up over here. So then, what we're going to do? Yeah, what is the visibility? Visibility is kind of terrible, so I'm going to be relying on the board, like everything. So. Have a lot of traffic. That's the one nine four four one. All right, go ahead and mark yourself up with the uh, these uh, fields uh, right here, and then we'll go up the right. Go over the present and uh, cycle sixty three for. Alright, level. Okay, level. Alright, so, this is, okay, according to like the POH and stuff like that, we want to enter these maneuvers going up uh, approximately about uh, anything around 95 when the uh, uh, level above that. So, uh, SQ to be equal to about 95. And now we do so, so, we have appropriate landing spots, so we have. Uh, landing spot. So, landing spot, we have a bunch of green fields below us. If anything were to happen, uh, we do have those spots in line in case of any type of emergency. We're heading in this direction, this little mount right here. We can go ahead and press and hold this button, usually. And it's going to bring you up to about uh, 080. It's going to be where you kind of want to roll out of that. Okay? Okay? So, let's go ahead. I'll talk you through the window as we go through it again, okay? Right. So, to the left. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the left. Uh, as you go to the left, you're going to keep on increasing that rain, keep on going, keep on going, and then at about 200 RPM, and, and increase that back pressure. Okay, so have that back pressure, keep that nose right there, right? and then you can probably see that ribbon line coming off the uh, uh, coming off the hood right there. That's where you want your horizon to kind of cut in through as you go as you do that. Okay. And if you need to, you can take off some of the back pressure trim. So do about two rotations uh, up trim. So Okay. Uh, as you're coming through, 
Up to a mountain about who wants to come parallel the roads and there with the mountain, go ahead and level lower. Have that board pressure and then continue to roll out to the right. Continue to roll to the right. Right there. Hold that thing, that's perfect. Over the right rudder. The power good. Direction and see if we can get more of a 
uh, right traffic for runway 21, so we don't have, so we can kind of sort of avoid right, taking out that first time. Uh, it's somebody going with the cattle thinking about where we are. Now, cattle flows are going to be right over here. Excuse me, I'll turn it up. Okay, that's going to be a first cow check. Oh, don't worry, I got you, I got you. Uh, just trying to. Oh, yeah, I know. It's good to get that it's situation. Thing. Thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's always constantly listening. And that's what I love, because now you're trying to improve your situation awareness of traffic that you're on here, and like uh, the traffic that we can see everywhere else, right? Yeah. So, okay, yeah. still too high. Dang it. All right, I'm going to listen to Ada's really quick. Temperature 3 change. Water is better than 5,005. Temperature 1, 5. Dew point minus 1. Altimeter 3004. Runway 21 is in move. Expect visual approach. Note 100 foot crane, point 82 nautical miles south, southeast of the approach end of runway 21. 177 foot crane, point 39 nautical miles south, southwest of the approach end of runway 3. Advisories. Hazardous weather information for Arizona, available on flight service frequencies. Loop trial and approach are closed. Advise on initial contact, do you have any information in November? So we have bad traffic right over there. No factory, okay, got him. Let's go ahead and get those nav lights going. Nav lights on. 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 Nav all right, that's the advisory. Really quick. Pass this weather information to Arizona, available on flight service frequencies. Loop trial and approach are closed. Advise on initial contact, do you have any information in November? Is that least okay? Let me just get the tourist set in one more time. Good year, report information in November. Time 23472 observation. Wind variable at 3. Weather is better than 5005. Temperature 15. Dew point minus 1. Altimeter 3004. Runway 21 is in use. Expect visual approach. Note 100 foot crane, point 82 nautical miles south, southeast. I got less to that one. And then we're just going to continue to slide a little bit through this direction. We have the traffic still right back there. Still no factor. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and turn towards these cattle fields over here. Don't worry, there's nobody over there. <laughs> Anymore? Anymore, they already moved, okay? So we're still on tower, we can go ahead and switch over. Want to stay at 3,000 or are we going to start to... Uh, we can start, uh, we can stay at 3,000 until we get kind of closer to it. Okay. So we can, or, I don't know, maybe enjoy the nice cool AC that we have in this aircraft. Uh, 352, get a tower left traffic, runway 21, report down, and uh, you're coming in uh, quiet but readable. Currently, we're still about 13 uh, miles away, so once you get it closer to uh, 10, I'll go ahead and uh, call them in. You're running over there. Yeah, but, uh, unless if you want to do so. So you can go ahead and say, good your tower, Skyhawk, and please don't Charlie Julia is about, uh, be about 10 nautical miles away. Uh, uh, Good to tell us, guys. Good to tell us, Julia. Yeah, it's about uh, 10 nautical miles to the southwest. Uh, we close full stop with information in November. And if you if you mess up, I'll just key back in. Okay. Yep. So just go ahead and wait until okay. so we get about 10.5, then we can. I'm making that call. Down 100 feet while we're listening to you. I know I'm trying to like mumble in my words there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like what is like I was trying to listen and talk at the same time. What isn't working out? So sit back and think of the best sentence possible. Runway 447, Roger. Runway 21, cleared land. Runway 21, cleared to land. Runway 447. And you can see the airport way off in the distance over there? Yeah. Alright, go ahead and key in and let them know. Okay, tower point 528. How'd you pass it? Come on now. Uh, 
3528, get a tower left traffic, we're going to one report down on
Can we let those up? And just level it here. Alright, see? Hello. Keep your eyes down the runway. Hello. And bring that nose up. Alright. Now yep. flaps up. Flaps up. Control Joy, no delay down Alpha 5 and contact ground. Controls. No delay to Alpha 5. Contact ground. Uh, we contact to you. Alright. Sorry, I was just, I said no delay. So we're just trying to make sure that we can kind of clear the runway. Up up. So that the traffic behind us can find as well. And once we get clear of that runway, So then we'll go ahead and do our uh, checklist of landing, bring that power back up to 1,000. Landing after landing, flaps up. Flaps up. Throttle, 1,200. All right, and we already have that mixture already set up for us. Break. So go ahead and uh, uh, mixture lean. Yep. Uh, we're uh, good now. Mixture pull lean. No, we're good. Oh, yeah, I already leaned it out. Okay. Um, throttle, uh, back to 1,000. So we're good. The lights is required, so we're going to put your taxi lights on. We don't have the landing lights on. We don't have to. Uh, no, we're thinking about the landing, the lights are going to be doing it. We're going to hire them and stuff, so we're good. Right. So we're going to put the landing lights on. Put the landing lights on? Oh, no, sorry. Taxi lights on. Taxi lights on. All right, I'm going to take off your strobes. Strobes off. Yep. Nav lights on or nav lights off? Uh, we're going to keep the nav lights on since we're having like, the sunset coming in. Right okay. Good for people to see us. Yep. All right, and that's it. So then now we have to just contact ground so we can continue the taxi. Okay, do we switch it to ground? Uh, yes, I just already switched it as well. Okay. So it'll be good to ground. It's so not the center of Juliet. Uh, clear runner to one at Alpha 5. Uh, request taxi to park. Good year, ground. Skyhawk 37, Charlie Juliet. Clear of runway Alpha 5. Uh, Raise to park. Cessna 37 Charlie, Julia Goody Ground, thanks for the parking via Alpha Ramp 2. Uh, make it Ramp 3. Thanks for the parking via Alpha Ramp 3. Please don't tell it, Julia. Did I forget something? No, oh, uh, I said I'm running to one. I don't oh. believe you said that. So go ahead and continue to taxi. So we're clear on that one. Clear right, clear straight, clear right. And clear right. And we have traffic good behind us too as well, so we should have eased up just a little bit. Get out of the way. That's fine. So yeah, so. We're coming into like lands, uh, teaching like students like uh, certain type of landing. So um, we can teach students to land like especially like without like any type of like landing lights. Landing lights are really required for landings. The only time we do need the landing lights, uh, landing lights are for hire. Oh. So if you're doing for hire, then you need those landing lights on. Good like grand passengers so always need good practice to have it on. Toward, uh, so but since it's not completely dark uh, along those lines, so we can like utilize if we need to use it or not. Okay. But it is a good practice to kind of put them on. 20, 528, so you're going to ask us as well. Alpha ramp 2. Alpha ramp right. 2, 4528. Yeah. You see this one, this plane coming in right here? Yeah. They don't have any of their, like, their uh, landing lights on as well. So they just like, have the strobes and they just can't come in. Coming in at a steep angle. Oh, yeah, a yeah. short approach. What? A short approach. Oh. But hey, it's such a transition. I want you to take a look around the airport. So you see the nice little green, green lights in the third center line for the taxiway. Nice little blue uh, uh, lights gonna be on the edge at uh, the edge of the taxiway. That's me pressing on it too. I was trying to slow you down a little bit. Oh, <laughs> but, hey, I know you like this, Timmy. Yeah. Here comes Ampy. We kind of take in this initial kind of view of the night flight, right? So this is like they're gonna be seeing more at the airport. There's Ampy. So clear the left, clear the street, clear, clear. clear, clear. Slow down. There's only one thing you can do is go ahead and press the brakes a little bit and slow down, you know? 